big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas, and that's where we find ourselves here this evening to see the stars shine. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Stars have won the draw, and we are now underway. Right up the gun, here they go. The Stars gain possession in their own end. Puck exits the zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. The Oilers play it along the wing. Huge steal in his own end. Slides it over with pace to Suter. Pushes it across to Pavelski. Sends it over. He scores! And a great start for the whole team here. Now there's an old club. Chance favors the prepared line. And I tell you, James, it just looked like they were ready from puck drop. And a quick strike gets the fans a blaring. And they used their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. Dallas jumps out to a 1-0 lead just like that moments into this one. Well, I love the sense of urgency in the game. You know that they were dialed in right from puck drop, James. They had the fast few steps and strides. And they were first on the puck. And hounding it results in that goal. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. And now he moves it to McDavid. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Grabs the puck in the slot. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Skinner. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Stars lead it 1-0. Dreisaitl's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. Grabbed along the boards by Dreisaitl. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. The Oilers have it against the wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, what a blast from the point from too high. Well, it looks like his follow through was too high as it just sails over the net. Hey, a really buzzing here on the offensive end. And he's going to hang on for the whistle and listen to this place and call it being a job well done. And the fans are letting him know it, James. They are on their feet right now and such a great feeling for him after that huge save. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Oilers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Stop by the goaltender. Ottinger's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Stars gain the zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Pavelski's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Slides it to McLeod. Moves it over to Yanmark. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves it to Pavelski. He got all of that hit. Moves the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. The Stars are in transition. Sends the pass over. Slides the puck to Peterson. Big hit and that frees up possession. Quick feed to Eckholm. And he passes it up ahead to CeCe. Taken by Peterson. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Past the midway mark in this period. Dallas leads it 1-0. Peterson's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Let's get the call. 
But with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James. And to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. McDavid's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. Robertson's really able to pick his spot when the puck is flat and ready to be fired. Guys, that's what we like to call his snipe zone ability. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder. Here we go, two on one. This is it all. Slides it quickly to Hyman. The Oilers played along the boards. Oh, just a great heads up play by Lindell. The Stars have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Here's a move in tight. Can't get it to go. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And they clear that puck. Marchman's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer. And they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Dallas has the 1-0 lead. The Oilers win the draw on their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. The Stars take it along the wall. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Carries it in. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Listen, it's a tight game. It's late in the period. You've taken a penalty. Now you got to stay in the present, stay in the moment, kill it off, and then you can reset in the intermission. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. And he says no! Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. McLeod's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Shot, pod save. He's on it tonight. The Stars will play it in their own end. The cloud picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. There you go. Period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. about set to go. The Stars start with possession here as they open up short-handed. And it takes the feed. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Penalty coming up here. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Four on four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Handles a sweet feed. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. To the front! Oh, denies him with the paddle save! Great reflexes, another save. 
The Stars gain possession. Edmonton's through center and now in the offensive end. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by Pavelski. Slides it diagonally to Hintz. Edmonton's penalty killers get a hold of it. Loose puck battle along the boards. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Edmonton's penalty is now expired. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got... by getting onto the puck. We see him practice this all the time, James, taping tip after tip after tip. And guess what? Now he's in game and he's doing it over and over again. He puts it in the back of the net with some great hand-eye coordination. Dallas gives themselves even more breathing room now, extending the lead to two. Yeah, they can certainly take a breath, but not too much of one because if their opponent can get one, they will be within striking distance. This is why this is a tough lead to have. And he makes the save on that play. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Dallas seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Johnson's won the draw, and they're on the attack. All oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Drills them! Play is stopped, and here's the official call. A cup was getting two for tripping. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power of play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Puck scooped up by Nurse. Quick feed to Echo. Oh, what a stop with the club by Ottinger. Fax is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Here's a short pass to McDavid. And that one stopped. Scooped up along the wall by Brown. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Oh, what a save! Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Long jam in front. And he takes the dish. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Takes it at center. Pokes it away in his own end. Scrum along the boards. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Here he is in front. Oh, and it goes off the club and he keeps it out. Well, these are the saves and you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Nugent Hopkins plays it against the boards. Tees it off! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Ottinger! Edmonton's put up a lot of shots and so far plenty of scoring chances and yet they still trail here in the second. McDavid's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Oh, what a save in front! Taken along the wall by McDavid. Cuts to the front! Decides to think about it! Dallas has possession of it now. There's a collision with some authority. And that goes off the glove, and it stays out! But like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure! And that's blocked! Hooks up the puck! Takes a shot! the midway mark of the frame and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. 
Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. And he moves it up to Kane. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Hintz takes the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here they are on the attack. Sends it to the middle. And that's stopped. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Looks to get the puck over to Robertson. McLeod's got it now deep inside his own end. Puts it in deep. Dallas has it near the wall. Sends a pass over. Puck grabbed by Bouchard. Slides the pass over to Eckholm. Quick pass to Hintz. And he lowers the boom there. And he slides it quickly to Suter. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. The Oilers play it along the boards. And he's ridden off the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Sagan. And he takes the pass. Great read with the stick. And it's a quick pass to Heiskanen. Great heads up play by the defender. Moves it quickly over to Cece. They fight for it along the boards. Back at the point, he's set it up. And that's knocked away. Suter's got it through center. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Sagan's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Can't complete the pass as it goes off the skip. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. Fans tonight, the whole team one is dropping $50 gift certificates to the Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Oilers led a solid 40 minutes of play, and they haven't been rewarded in terms of the game score, James, but I do believe that they can get back in this game if they continue with the good habits. They've had a high percentage of possession in this game. They dominated the play in the offensive zone. It's just a matter of translating it into offense. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. From the right side and up the middle. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with the turnover. Moves it to Brown. Dishes it to McDavid. On the attack along the boards. Handles the puck. And that's deflected off someone in front. Hins works the puck in his own zone. Feeds it on over to Suter. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Hyman. For point blank, denies him! There's a great close save by Ottinger. Well, he's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Dreisaitl's aware his team is trailing in this one, guys. Let's look to him to try to get things going. His own ability can definitely help him do that. Huge stop by Ottinger. And a chance winds up with a broken stick. Wow, the whole team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Throws it in. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. And he makes the save. Dallas has possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Johnston. The Oilers have it from their own end. Slick feed. Passes it over to McLeod. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. He says, let's get physical on that play.
Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Stars are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. And he turned that one aside. Ottinger's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Here in the back half of this period, 2-0 is where we sit. Sagan's won the draw inside his own end. Looks to make a play over to Duchesne. Now a quick pass to Hackenpah. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Dallas looks to get things going now with the puck. Shot! Oh, that's off the blocker! What a stop by Ottinger! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And he slides it quickly to Dayarnay. It comes up empty. Dallas looks to break out in their own end. Jumped in and they'll go get some fresh legs. Picked up along the boards by Brown. Moves it to McLeod. The Stars' top line is on the ice, and they've been the best on the ice tonight for their team, and they've contributed, and they found a way to get their team in the lead. Carlin Bade has been with us all night, standing by once again at rinkside. Robertson's helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. The Stars start with the puck in their own end. Through center along the wing. Dallas has it in the offensive end. You'll need more than that to beat him. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A critical draw here. McDavid's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. And that's picked off. Knocks the puck loose. And that's poked away. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Taken by Pavelski. Takes a shot. Well, that goal just ignites a fire down the entire bench, and, and sometimes it's about the drive and the energy within a shift that can just change the course of an entire game. There's so many ebbs and flows, momentum shifts. This one is one of them. The Stars are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're padding the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. The Oilers win the faceoff. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Johnson's going to play it against the half wall. Tosses it to Ben. And he comes up with a stop there. There's the whistle as the net comes off. In the final moments of this period, the Stars now lead by three. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Jumps the puck in. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. And that caroms off a body in traffic. And it comes up with the save. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. And the final one sells for this one. Well, as a former defender, these are your types of games, right? Well, too, don't you, James? Right now, you gotta give the credit to the goaltender. You got the zero. 
You put it up on the board. You know that he was dialed in. I love the way he was tracking the puck in particular. You knew that he just saw it tonight. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at the celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game, and you come back here to say thank you to them. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.